Hey guys, uh, today I have a review for you of the Cry Precision Low Profile Belt. And I'm also going to be going over kind of my belt setup and why I run things the way I do, etc. So let's get right into it. Alright, so to start off, um, I'll go over kind of the padding system on it. Um, padding wise, uh, it's a great belt, it's super comfortable. I've owned some crappier uh, kind of like Condor battle belts and you know, for what they are, they work, but they're not the best. Um, and I've also owned an HSGI uh, Sure Grip padded belt. That was a great belt, um, but it just wasn't what I was looking for at the time. So I sold that. Um, I got this, uh, the name, low profile belt. It's kind of a, I don't know, it doesn't exactly fit the belt in my opinion. The belt is fairly thick, uh, which is nice because it is mostly padding. Um, but you have inner pads along the inside of the belt that are directly on your body and then you also have the padding that runs through the belt um, so we'll get some shots of that so you can see it uh, but overall it's a great belt it's super comfortable um, so yeah sizing wise um, just to give you a reference I'm a 34 inch waist and this is a medium um, so this is how it sits on my waist uh, hopefully that helps you if you're choosing choosing this or something um, so I'll run over what I run on my belt and why. Um, on my right here, I have a WE uh, SIG P226 or Mark 25. Um, and then I have that with the Streamlight TLR1 HL. And then I'm running it in an IMI uh, level two uh, holster with a Molly mount on it. Uh, moving to the back, uh, I have a, I think it's a fly. Uh, horizontal utility pouch uh, that just holds anything and everything really a kill rag some snacks uh, extra gloves or whatnot map something just whatever you throw in a utility pouch really uh, and then on my left side here I have a thermal barrack pouch um, and that will hold uh, like a thunder bee or some other sort of airsoft grenade or whatnot moving forward to that I have uh, a double pistol mag pouch. Right now I only have one extra pistol mag and then I run a speed loader in the other one, uh, but that will eventually change to two pistol mag pouches on the side. Um, things I don't like about the belt, uh, for one, or kind of the, the biggest issue that I found is the back it tends to kind of sag a bit. Um, that might be because of what size I'm wearing or whatnot, because the belt naturally or it has a kind of a, a plastic um, rigid liner in it I guess similar to like a cry uh, JPC air light cummerbund um, so that hugs you which is nice uh, and then you have your belt up front but the way the belt is and just everything it kind of hugs you right up here on your hips or the front of your hips um, and so the back it can tend to sag a little bit especially if you have a pouch with some weight in it um, and it will kind of sag down onto your butt uh, if it's not tight enough or whatever. Uh, Cry does sell some suspenders. I'll probably be getting some of those soon. Um, but I mean, it, it is definitely wearable without the suspenders uh, with proper adjusting and all that stuff. All right, the inner belt, uh, it can be changed out if you want to change it to a different belt. Um, or you can also change out the buckles, uh, to say a Cobra buckle if that's something you prefer. Uh, so that's a nice little modular feature, I guess. Um, as for Molly, there's kind of three sections. You have one on each side and then you have one across the back and it's split by little sections that don't have Molly on it where you can kind of see the inner belt running through. Um, each section has two, uh, two rows of Molly and they are five sections or five uh, columns rather uh, on each section. That might change depending on what size you have, I'm not sure, uh, but for the medium, that's what this has.